Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got quiet conditions in the Mid-South. We don't have a lot going on immediately, but we may see some changes coming up as we get into the course of the next couple of days, especially where the temperatures are concerned. Nothing huge, but we will see again the possibility of some interesting temperature swings, both down and upward. So if you're looking for variety, we definitely have that for you coming up as we get into the course of the rest of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you have any questions or anything in the way of ideas about what's going on with the forecast, we'd love to be able to pass that along to everybody. So if you're on Periscope and Twitter, please drop your location and your uh, information about where you're from into the comments section and also with the weather uh, reports from your area we'd love to know more about what you're seeing experiencing with weather out there so please let us know more about what's going on in those locations as well and we'd love to have you along again for more information about what's going on with our weather situation here in the mid-south currently again if you're just joining us on facebook it is just past 8 20 on saturday morning and so far things are decently quiet out there we'll take a look at the forecast for now in a nutshell which again does not amount to much at this point but we do have some scattered areas of showers out there for right now and that could be a bit of a problem into the course of the rest of the day today and those showers again will be dwindling as we go into this afternoon and this evening but otherwise not getting a lot of major amounts of rainfall out there we'll take a look at storm tracker 3s in just a little while city hall cam from germantown lots of clouds some blue skies poking their way on through winds starting to switch to the northwest so it looks like that cold front is starting to get a little bit closer to the area. Downtown Memphis from our News Channel 3 studios. A lot of cloud cover out there, but not doing too bad. Golfers lined up and ready to go at Windy Country Club in downtown Memphis, uh, in southeast Memphis right now. Looking at good conditions there. Lots of sunshine breaking through lots of clouds on our Baptist DeSoto camera in South Haven and temperature of 50 degrees, far cry from where it was near freezing in and around the area of the Ole Miss campus on the quad in Oxford. So very quiet conditions as we see there. Storm Tracker 3S radar is not showing a lot of activity here. A lot of echoes showing up of different types. If you take a look again right about into the area here, northeast Arkansas, showing a little bit of light echoes. That's the rainfall we've been watching. Also some scattered light showers back around the Tennessee-Mississippi state line. Everything here heading on down toward the south end of the east at about maybe 20 miles an hour. Another echo to take a look at is right here, dropping on down I-55 and the Mississippi River, moving contra against the flow of moisture. That is not rainfall. That is actually large flocks of migrating birds making their way down the Mississippi Valley, using that as a highway heading on down to the Gulf of Mexico. So a lot of interesting echoes showing up from early this morning. Good morning to everybody showing up on Facebook right now. If you're watching for the cold front to arrive, basically it's almost in the Mid-South and going to be dropping its way on down toward the Gulf of Mexico in the next few days. Beyond that, back to the north of us, we've got again some drier air, and that's going to be making its way a little bit closer to us as we go throughout the rest of the day. Mostly cloudy skies in Memphis International. The green icon that you see indicates, again, delays of 15 minutes or less, so things are moving along pretty well for Saturday morning at... Memphis International. Likewise, at major and connecting airports across the United States, we're not seeing anything in the way of major delays. So good news as we look around the area there. So not seeing a problem with travel there. If you are traveling, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. This information coming directly from the Federal Aviation Administration on their website, fly.faa.gov. And if you'd like to know more about that, stick around. We'll be featuring this a lot as we go throughout the next couple of days because a lot of people are going to be in motion. We want to make certain you know as much as possible as to what's going on out there. Temperatures this morning on WeatherNet 3, we are back into around the mid to lower 50s for the most part. A few upper 40s from time to time, but not really all that breezy, so good news there. The chances of rain are minimal for today. We're just not seeing a lot of anything out there involving major amounts of problems. A few light sprinkles possible, again, as we go through about lunchtime and afterwards. And then that air coming in from the north that we've been talking about behind that front, that is going to be bringing in very dry air. So that's going to erode the chances of rainfall pretty much gone by dinner time into tonight. And that's going to be it for anything involving chances of rain 
rain for the rest of the weekend. Cool and dry for tomorrow. Hopefully some more great sunrise pictures coming our way as we get into very early tomorrow. We'll have an update on the forecast coming up in just a bit on News Channel 3 Daybreak, so stay tuned for more there. Light drizzle this morning, clearing out, giving us cooler temperatures into tomorrow. Winds out of the northwest briefly, but then on Monday, the winds turn back around out of the south, and that takes our temperatures back upwards again to about the mid-60s or so. We'll stay in the mid-60s through Tuesday and Wednesday, a slight chance of some showers coming up Wednesday night into Thursday, and then another cool down heading our way as we head toward Friday. So getting into December, it's going to be mild. It'll be a little cooler but not by too much anyway. We'll be looking at temperatures back in the upper 50s by next Friday and next Saturday. Then, after that, it looks like a big turnaround. Now, keep in mind, this is, again, 10 days out, so this uh, row of numbers will change a lot into the course of the next couple of days. But as we go a little bit closer toward next Sunday and next Monday, we see a big warm-up taking place, as in 70 degrees possible by next Monday. Now, keep in mind, again, that should be with a grain of salt because this could change very very easily, so keep it tuned uh, for more updates on that forecast, but otherwise not cold enough for anything involving snow or frozen precipitation and not seeing anything in the way of major problems where it comes to uh, heat waves or anything like that, which can also happen at this time of the year, so something to consider as we keep an eye on what's going on with the forecast heading into the course of the next couple of days, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. More on my forecast available on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, that's the East Arkansas Broadcast broadcast network stations throughout the rest of the weekend. And also don't forget to send in your weather pictures. Louie has get some beautiful views from around eastern Arkansas, including brand new resident of the family, Betty the Goat. Thank you very much for sending along pictures of Betty. And it looks like she was uh, pretty well sacked out for uh, Thanksgiving dinner in one of the previous ones that Mr. Haskett sent along, so thank you very much for those. If you have weather pictures, we'd love to show them on Daybreak and also on this feature right here on Weather Overtime, but we can't show them if you don't send them. So if you don't send them, I can't show them. You kind of see the problem there with the pictures. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to share on the air, please let us see them, and we'll feature them as much as we possibly can when time allows, so we'd love to have you along for that. And all you have to do is send them to any of these locations. I'm all over the place on cyberspace. So definitely want to stay tuned for more there, and we'll keep you updated on what people are seeing across the Mid-South when they send those pictures in. Rest of the forecast, again, we'll have an update coming up in just a little bit, but this is the end of our current feature for weather overtime, so stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the travel holiday weekend. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online through Saturday and Sunday.